So that's what a mawla is. It's somebody who's been freed. Now, what's interesting about the early Islam is before Omar ibn Abdul Aziz, the clients, you had to become a client if you became a Muslim. He, Omar ibn Abdul Aziz ended this system. But in the early system of Islam, when you became a Muslim, you had to join an Arab tribe. And the reason for that was for protection. It, it was, it, they would support you, the Qasama, if, if somebody died, uh, you know, the blood money would be distributed amongst the tribe. It was like a, a social security. Literally. I mean, it was like a social security. It was a way of protecting uh, people. And then also, people wouldn't mess with you if they knew that you were a tribe. One of the things in Medina, the, the, the women, the, 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 the ima, the, 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 the slave women, did not wear a head covering, and they used to get accosted. And the Quran told the women to cover your head so that you would not be accosted, that people would know that you weren't, uh, you know, that you were free women. And it wasn't that the other was permissible, but uh, people will tend to aggress upon weak people before they'll aggress upon strong people. So that was the idea as a way of distinguishing yourselves. Uh, the, the, uh, the aura of the, the ima is not the same as the aura of free women. So uh, women did not have, the slave women did not cover their heads. They did not have to cover their breasts. And that's established historically which is why I personally believe that the hijab is not so much, uh, you know, the, the way that it's always presented is it's a sexual thing. It's always presented as a, but the, the reality of it is it's about human dignity and it's, it's, it's uh, embellishing uh, a, uh, because the man has the hijab as well. I mean, the man wears clothes and is encouraged to cover his head, although the Prophet did walk bareheaded, so it's, uh, to show people uh, you know he sometimes he will do a makru thing to show that it's for tanzi um, so the hijab was a, a, a really a way of honoring the women now the Arab women before Islam wore a head covering but they did not cover their cleavage and that's why when it says that they're to cover their cleavage that's not what a khimar means. Khimar is from khamara, to cover the head. Because khamar covers your intellect. So the khimar is a head covering in Logan Arabiya. But they were told to take the head covering and bring it over the cleavage, the nuhur. That, that, that's the point. You don't have to do, I mean, if you do, you can wear your headscarf. That was what they did. That's their urf. But it, as long as you're, you're you're covered here, you don't have to pull the, the khimar itself over as long as it's covered. But for them, that was the way they covered it. Their dresses were designed like that, and so they pulled that over like that. That was the, uh, the, the khimar in Arabic. So the, the, the mola was a, a, a system of protecting uh, people who were in servitude and then freed they became clients. And so these are the clients of the Prophet ﷺ, the Mawali of the Prophet ﷺ. Uh, 